Hi everyone, this is an announcement to let you know that after these readings are released, I'll be changing the name of this channel from Peace, Love and Tarot to Wild Lotus Tarot. I just felt that Peace, Love and Tarot was no longer in alignment with myself and with my message, so I wanted to choose a new name and I've always loved the lotus because it's a symbol of spiritual transformation and also because it appears on what is I'm sure all of our favorite card and that is the ace of cups so if we just have a look down here they are lotus flowers on the surface there and you know the idea is that the lotus flower you know it starts its journey as a seed, you know, in the mud at the bottom of the pond, and it follows the light through the water to the surface where it blooms as that beautiful flower. And, you know, it's a symbol of the transformation, the journey to open ourselves to love, to self-love, to, um, you know, to the divine. So I love that idea. I think it's a beautiful symbol. That's why I've chosen that name. And I see, you know, my purpose with this channel is to help you um, you know, access that wild lotus inside of you and to help you on your journey of transformation, whatever that might be for you. So um, next time you tune in, you'll see the new name. Um, I've already started changing the channel art, so it's going to be a little bit inconsistent for the next week or so. Um, and just while you're here too, um, before we start your reading, I just want to say thank you so much for being here, for your subscription if you've subscribed, for every like, comment and share. I really do appreciate it. You've really helped me grow my channel. I'm very passionate about tarot and I love bringing you these readings and I really hope that you'll join me in my new journey as Wild Lotus Tarot. So for now, let's go to your reading. Okay Scorpio, let's get into your reading. Uh, we've got your oracle cards here which we'll come to in a moment. Uh, doing fixed positions this week. So we have your recent past position here. We have the Ten of Pentacles and Serenity which is the Hermit energy. We have the uh, focus or current energies here, King of Swords and the Lovers. We have in your outcome or near future, justice and perspective, which is the hanged man. So you've actually got four out of six major arcana, Scorpio. You may have heard me say in the past that the more major arcana in a spread, in a reading, generally the more significant this event is because the major arcana are all, you know, um, touch points on the journey of life, the big life lessons, the karmic themes. So we have actually, you know, four of those themes in this one reading. So what I am seeing here is some kind of completion on the home front, um, a, a key decision coming out of a communication or a truth being revealed, and that's somehow bringing a situation to justice or modification, something like that. Um, you know, this could actually uh, mean that you're going to see things from a whole new perspective, or maybe it's the p perspective change that has brought it to justice. Um, we'll unpack that when we get to it. So let's go to the Oracle cards uh, to start off. We have the initiation, we'll read that one out in a moment. Well, let's start with your yogic path card. And we have Dermavati. It's an interesting energy that I feel is really on point with the theme. So this is actually the goddess of disappointment and letting go. So it's kind of a realization that the hardships and struggles that you may have faced up until this point have brought you to this position in your life for a reason. So it's about kind of understanding that yeah, okay, although we have good times and bad times, they are all dots along the way. And it's only really looking back in hindsight and, and joining those dots that we can see that somehow and sometimes the hardships contribute to getting us to the next point in life. So that's what this one is all about. It definitely makes sense for me in this reading um, because obviously we do have a, a completion here, um, which can be, you know, they can always be hard at the time, but we have to trust that it's leading us to a greater place. And we see that kind of reflected again in the Initiation Oracle card. This one here shows like a journey through a darker time or through a hardship. And um, it's kind of like the position or the, the, the situation that you're facing this week is like you being on the threshold of stepping into the new chapter, into the light, into a better time in your life. But sometimes when you're only kind of looking through the keyhole, you can only see that kind of glimmer of hope or that little light at the end of the tunnel. You can't really see exactly what's waiting for you out there, but you know you're on the, you know, the threshold of something greater. That's the feeling that I've got here. So I'm going to read that one out to you in full and then we'll go to the tarot cards. 
So this is about a rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Some of the most sacred initiation chambers and temples look scary from the outside, but are breathtakingly beautiful on the inside. This represents the journey that the soul pilgrim is required to take to reach somewhere sacred, but only the initiated can enter. Perhaps that's where you are right now. You're being tested, initiated, because you're headed somewhere sacred. Initiations require that we cross the threshold from one world or state of being to the next. We're being called to face what scares us and have to be willing to lose it all in order to gain a new way of being, of safety, of security, of depth, of meaning. Yeah, so that's really interesting. Uh, I'll just leave it there, uh, Scorpio, but, you know, as we've just heard from that, it's a metaphor for the fact that sometimes we need to be willing to, to let go of something in order to get to somewhere better, uh, and that can take all different forms. Um, I'm sure you have been through situations like that in your life and you can relate to what I'm saying. So we see that here reflected in the recent past with the Ten of Pentacles and Serenity, or we can call that the Hermit Energy as well. Look, the Ten of Pentacles, you know, is often known as that kind of money card or, you know, reaching a really kind of high status uh, in terms of material um, gain. But we have to remember that at a number 10, it can also be read as a completion and that is generally what I'm feeling in this reading because of the cards that have come up and spread along with it. So the Ten of Pentacles can be definitely around the home front or our material assets. So because it's a general reading, the kind of situations that this could indicate, it may mean um, the loss of a home or having to move on from a home, moving out of a rented property, maybe your time has come, the lease has come, uh, up for re renewal or you're not able to stay there maybe the price has been increased that kind of thing it could be um, that the, the people that own the house have put it up for sale and you have to you have to leave um, you know it can be of course you know living in partnership with other people and that is coming to an end so you know we do have the lovers in the spread it could be a, a live-in relationship that's coming to a completion coming to a karmic completion this can also indicate that you may have been living with um, family or extended family or a large group of people during this lockdown period and now that is coming to a completion. For some of you it can um, indicate uh, even the loss or closure or ending of a term of employment that you've made your key income through and you know you might be you know moving into uh, solo employment that kind of thing. Because we have the uh, this card here with the Hermit, which is you know the Serenity energy here in the Star Child Tarot. Now the Hermit has obviously that very deep theme of um, flying solo, of being independent, of going it alone. So we almost have a, a move here from a very connected home or family situation to a very singular energy. So I do feel that for some of you, this is about either you have been working in a group or you've been an employee. Maybe you're now going to be working self-employed, working alone, working freelance as a contractor, uh, doing your own thing. Or if you feel this is a relationship spread for you or home spread, this is you now maybe going to live alone for a period of time or, or maybe going through you know a transition through a relationship where there will be a period where you are single. But what it says here with the Serenity card is that it's going to lead you to a greater sense of peace. So there could have been some um, uh, some turmoil, some you know unrest in the situation, um, especially if you you know it's the lockdown situation where you were you know living on top of a lot of people for a period of time. The Serenity card also says that it could be some spiritual upgrade happening, spiritual awakening, that kind of thing. And the key message with this Hermit energy is to seek the wisdom within yourself and that all the answers that you are seeking, that are going to move you forward, that are going to help you get to the next part of your journey, are actually within you. So it's a great time to, to meditate and to kind of seek that kind of clarity. Uh, the Hermit energy links to the Star energy. So it says that the more that you heal and recalibrate and rebalance yourself um, and seek that wisdom, the greater that star energy burns and you know the path forward starts to be illuminated. And the star energy has the sense of rebirth, of renewal, 
um, and divine wish fulfillment. So it's saying that sometimes you have to give up something that still might have seemed pretty great, but know that you're heading somewhere better and there's something greater to gain. Maybe it's not going to be as much in the financial department, but you're going to gain either a greater love or you're moving into um, you know, your best self or going through some kind of consciousness shift. And that is going to, to be really worth it, Scorpio. Okay, so as your current or focus energies this week, we have the Lovers and we have the King of Swords. So this is a pretty um, uh, technically kind of perfect reading here about how it's all flowing on from each other. Sometimes it just comes out like that. So the King of Swords indicates to me that there's going to be some kind of communication potentially that needs to happen this week. Um, and it can also be a truth that is being revealed or um, gathering information or you know getting all the pieces to this puzzle in order to be able to make a key decision on how to move forward or how to bring the situation to justice because we have that coming in for you. So the lovers in tarot before it was really just seen as that kind of twin flame or, or soulmate or partner card was actually the biggest card of decision making especially decision making around you know deep matters of the heart so I feel that there is a deep matter of the heart a decision around that that needs to be made for you this week and that is the crux of the situation so that could be to make this ending final and to go into that that single energy or that you know living alone or going freelance whatever it is for you um, that is one one reading of that so that's what I'm seeing here. Obviously, the lovers can really indicate as well that you are dealing with a partner or a relationship. The King of Swords is an energy as somebody who is seeing the bigger picture. We've also got the Hanged Man or perspective in the spread as well. So there is definitely a deep theme of um, being able to see the full picture, to see from different perspectives, to gain clarity. And there's going to be something in that, that in that sense of enlightenment that sets you free or, or helps you be able to move forward and make the key decisions that you need to in this situation. So the King of Swords, you know, he sits on that, that cliff top and from that vantage point, he's got the eagle eye view, meaning that he can see a situation for what it is. It's all being able all coming clear he's being able to connect those dots like we heard in the doom of arty oracle card and seeing why it's led um, you to this moment and that there helps you getting the, get the clarity you need with that decision making the king of swords is you know it's a card of victory and it's also a card of transformation so it's really, there is actually a lot of transformative energy in this reading so i feel like you are stepping into a position of power and authority and kind of being able to also establish clear boundaries for yourself in this situation and now make the decisions that are really going to serve you. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, maybe a key conversational communication that needs to come, um, needs to happen. Potentially some truth or some information um, that you're gathering about the situation that's really going to help you as well. And then in your outcome or near future position we have perspective which is the hanged man and justice so double major arcana whammy to end out the reading so mm, I mean justice is about that modification that change that needs to happen in order to bring the situation back into balance in order to rebalance those karmic energies of life some of you might have felt in the situation with this ending that you had an you know um a misjustice uh, done to you a karmic misjustice so maybe you know you felt kicked out of that home or you or your partner initiated the ending of the relationship where you really feel like you've lost something well justice is an energy that comes in and rebalances and it kind of brings in that best outcome for the person that deserves it it's not for just the person who who wants it yeah, it can indicate legal proceedings as well, or seeking legal advice, um, you know, reviewing contracts, make sure you know, you have all your information, you have all the details you need, you've talked to the right people before you move forward with things, so not making, you know, any hasty decisions here. Um, the hanged man or perspective, uh, you know, the hanged man is somebody who can be temporarily immobile or suspended, but it's not about sort of being stuck. It's about being uh, staying still or taking a step back 
while you're gathering the information, while you're waiting for the aha moment or that enlightenment. And you'll know when that moment is right in order to bring the situation to justice. And it really can mean that you might need to really think out of the square, outside of the square, to take a whole new perspective on the situation. And that could be the, the missing piece that you're looking for here. Um, the hanged man or perspective also talks about acceptance. So you may be kind of working through that kind of grief cycle this week. They talk about dying the death of the hanged man, which is kind of going from, from the denial to the bartering, the anger, depression and sadness until we finally get to a place where we accept. And it's sometimes when we get to the place of acceptance that we're actually able to surrender to what is. And that in itself can help us make the decision, help us move forward, help us bring things to a final justice so that we can then take that final step over the threshold into that new beginning, into the light, into the new chapter, out of this dark time. So that's what I'm seeing here. Really, really strong and powerful ending. And, you know, with justice, karma is always, you know, served and things always work out in the best interests of those it's meant to. Like I said, not just that that person that desires it. So it's a really powerful reading here, Scorpio. Make sure you've got all your information. Do keep in mind that you might be going through a completion, but this is a dot or a point on your journey leading you to somewhere greater. It's kind of like um, being on the threshold of a fool's journey. You don't know not what the destination is yet or where it's heading, but you need to trust and, you know, have trust and faith in the path and trust that it's leading you to, to that place. Okay, Scorpio, that feels complete for me, so I'm going to leave it there. I do hope you enjoyed the reading, and I wish you all the best with it this week. Keep in mind that it's a general reading. It won't be everybody's reading every week. Leave me a comment. I do read them all. I respond to them all that I can as well, and um, you know, it really helps me connect with your energies also. And I'll be back here same time, same place for another reading next week.